<laughs> oh. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. I instinctively pull my hand back. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I lowers her face. <laughs> she lowers her head, burning up. Yuri. What if my dude had been born with some kind of STD? This would be bad news for you. It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? Like, if it was your own finger, then... I would understand. Never would I do that with someone else's finger, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Sure, it was a little weird. Then it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help. She... <laughs> we have pieces of paper just lying around that could be applied, could be used to apply pressure to said wound. That is only your index finger. You're not gonna bleed out. At least, I don't think. You don't have to be a deep cut. You're overreacting a little. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? You know what? This might be the stupidest thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and look her, look her index finger in return. Hey! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. She just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah ha ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. Not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. Okay. No matter how heavy the air gets, I don't think it's going to be as heavy as, you know, a little bit ago. So weird. You just... You shoved my finger into your mouth while it was bleeding. You're calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. That's relieving. Tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective responsibilities. <coughs> I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and it will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this. Thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Oh, you got it from, like, Pinterest or something, right? Oh, God, got something in my eye. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I'd ask you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you. And just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. <laughs> Taking Yuri's advice, I use small plastic, plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch anything that drips and bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes. Coming to see, unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Oh no. Oh no. Cuts through her skin like ribbons, like knives. Well, t t man, man, your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, not at all. There's nothing wrong. The implications I just put on myself with those statements, because I wear long sleeve stuff all the time. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Her she hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dripping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do simple that will look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, then nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. 
We can hang it on top of the wall, behind the podium, the front of the classroom. Neat. That sounds really cool, actually. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. She smiles at me. If you say so. If you're rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. She uses a brush and adds a few dots to different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Dude, I am no good at painting, but I really like it. I still have like a painting I made in like 8th grade that's really bad. It's got like these... They're supposed to be palm trees, but once it's like horizontal in the middle of a thing of water for no reason. I don't have a shore or anything. It's hilarious looking back on it. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. Nah. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It's fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. She stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Reminds me of a video on Cracked I think I watched one time. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. Let's think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Well, that's a relief. Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. To feel, I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Yes. Agreed. 100%. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kia. Sorry. She, Yuri reels back and I lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I just startled, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. I was seeing if they put anything, any details like that on the sprite. Sorry, it's all my fault. I got a towel right away. I rush out to fetch her towel and then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. There's something wrong. It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a dazed, I'm enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil that's making me feel this dizzy? <laughs> Gentle fingers wrapped around my wrists and like... And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. Her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain, f I remain silent, forced to ignore the trans, or the events that just transpired. Getting ahead of myself, I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish writing, or finish filling the night sky with light white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Me too. Are you going to be ad for lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. 
That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and then have you bring it in the morning. I can do a lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That is totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time to f after finishing the work. Well, she thinks to herself, I think it would be irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. Oh, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all of her th things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with a friend in a relaxed environment. Well, that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking about today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want to, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Okay, it's kind of creepy when their sprites are that close to me. Close to you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I bet I don't even get this chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Eh? Ah! Hi. Sayori? Just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. Well, it's nice that you're out and about and stuff. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry. But we we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori, Sayori waves goodbye after her. Oh, the sad piano music kicking in again. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh huh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. That sucks. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. How close you got to her. Okay, first of all, the close sprite thing was really creepy. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. It's all that matters to me. To your start. Oh man, stop it. You need another hug? Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Oh. No! Don't do that. No, don't say that. No. Stop it. I disagree with this line of thinking wholeheartedly. You wouldn't even have to... Oh, what'd she say? Monica? Yeah, it's not a burden. Stop it. Oh, that's nice.
Yeah. Scary of what? Oh. Uh, no, don't say that. Don't do, do no. Oh. <laughs> no. Wordlessly say right now. It's, even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need to. I don't feel like. Okay. I understand that the character here is trying to be reassuring, but. That statement. It's not what I would try saying. That's what I'm going to give you. Oh, man. 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 Okay. Man. This is tough. Because, while not entirely out of nowhere, obviously this one would make her feel much better. But... God, I'm going to have to play this game more than once. Without a doubt, I've already been... I don't know if I'm going to record several playthroughs, but I... Jeez. This is the one I'm going to go with first. And, like, yeah, I'm not saving... I'm not saving over this one. Oh, I'm gonna go with this one first. And I'm gonna like record... Uh, I'm gonna have to do... I'm gonna have to do several like recordings of stuff. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but... Please trust me that I know it's a bitch. I don't like the... Maybe it's hard to come... I don't like the words that are coming out of our character's mouth right now. And I kind of just made him say that, so, you know, I made my own bed now right on it. Face force Lisa, an incredibly pain expression. Oh man. No, stop it. Neither do I. No kidding, they're gonna plague me until I see what both roads are like. Alright, I have to save it here. And stop, sweet Jesus, I've been playing this game for like three hours. Alright, gah, oof, man. Oh. 
Wow. I'm at a, I'm I'm trying to like get through my wrap up for these recording sessions here and I am just at a loss for words. That was I don't think I've ever been like not even with Undertale, which, you know, so many people were like, Blah, gasp, hebada, etc. Was I ever really that off put? I think the mo the thing that scared me the most was when Sans was like, I'll kill you where you stand for no reason. But this, geez, I was, I don't know what I, I, I think I was expecting it to take its time a little more. Plant the seeds, like across the whole game, and then hit you with some kind of thing that's horrifying at the end. But no, this is probably way more effective. Because, you know, I can't imagine. Yeah, this is the more effective way to do it than what I was thinking they were going to do. And, to, ooh, I cannot wait to play more. I've got, like, several videos worth of footage now. I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to have to make more folders to keep myself organized on what's being uploaded and what's being recorded and all that. But... Until then, thank you for watching, and until next time, my friends, follow me to Apex.